Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Emerald. And my name is Ejaz. Today is Weirdo Wednesday, where we bring you sly facts, sort of facts, maybe facts, kind of facts about things that we use, say, or maybe even do, that we say, what is that too? So, Ejaz is our expert researcher here, and she gets all up in the business of all these topics, so... If you've watched any of our Weirdo Wednesdays before, don't think that we're wearing the same shirt for any reason besides <laughs> to be weird. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the segment, really. I just said, hey, let's be weird and dress alike. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's why. So don't get it confused. No. But today's topic has to do with the windows to your soul. The eyes. The eyes have it. So today I'm going to be talking about eye color, but some really unusual facts about it. So the first thing I want to get into is exactly how does the eye color develop? Well, according to eyetherapy.com, that is eye with a dash therapy, uh -huh. <laughs> eye color is the result of certain pigment granules or melanin in the iris. More of these granules produce darker color eyes while less produce lighter color. That's why in babies, whether human mm. or animal, you'll see they might be born with blue eyes, but as they grow older, the eye color may actually change to either a darker blue or even brown, green, or some other variant. This is because of the production of melanin. So this melanin is a key feature as to why our eyes can even change as we get older older, like even after our eye color is fully developed. Uh-huh. Have you ever seen, you know, some older people who have these very light eyes, but you know, you may have known them and they haven't always had them, like Morgan Freeman, I'll throw an example. Yes. He's one person that I've noticed and I was like, wow, his eyes haven't always been that light. Yeah, we were watching this show on National Geographic, it's called, what, The Story of God, I believe it's called, or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, his eyes are really light nowadays. Yeah. A possible cause for this is because as we get older, the melanin in certain parts of our body, you know, lessens or reduces, which is, as we mentioned, our hair smelling, why our hair turns gray, but this is also why, you know, someone's eyes may get lighter as they get older. Uh-huh. Yes, this is because of reduction in pigments of melanin in the iris. Although, some people's eyes actually get darker and these pigments increase. Mm. The only reason we really know why this happens is genetics, really. Another reason that someone's eyes might get lighter with older age is because of certain eye diseases such as Horner's syndrome or pigmentary glaucoma. So, another interesting eye color variant. Have you ever seen someone who may has like one blue eye and one brown eye? Yes. Yeah, or like maybe their one eye actually has two different colors. Mm-hmm. Well, this is due to a condition called heterochromia iridius. According to medicinenet.com, this is usually a hereditary gene, meaning it's passed from generation to generation, although certain problems at birth can affect the production of the iris color, causing this sort of genetic mutation of sorts. Although there are a host of other diseases and conditions that can contribute to the syndrome later in life as well, so it may not always begin at birth, but can actually occur at some other point given, you know, a certain condition. The amount of melanin present in the eyes is also a reason why people who like melanin in other areas such as skin or hair color tend to have lighter eyes such as shades of blue and why those with the darker skin typically have brown eyes or other darker shades because genetics. Genetics and melanin play a huge part in our overall physical appearance and these things actually relate to one another in some weird ways. Speaking of eye color, so you know the classic ones, brown, blue, gray, gray, green, green, which is actually the rarest eye color in the world. I thought it was gray. Oh, really? Yeah, green eye is actually the rarest. But I'm sure you've heard of the gorgeous Miss Elizabeth Taylor and her famous purple violet eyes. I've heard. But were they really? Well, a lot of people say no. According to a website called Quora.com, people who appear to have violet eyes, including Miss Taylor, actually have deeper shades of blue that can appear to be purple given the lighting conditions in the room or certain color, even color clothes they wear or color eye makeup that they apply. They said Elizabeth was known to wear a lot of blues and purples around her eyes to enhance this quality, to make it appear as if her eyes were violet but they were actually not. Uh-huh. The, the only way someone could possibly have naturally occurring violet eyes is due to certain conditions such as 
iris atrophy, or albinism. So either of these conditions may result in a less dense iris pigmentation, which allows underlying blood vessels to be exposed. Which, of course, blood vessels are red, and red and blue make purple. Right. So, that's why you might see someone, their eyes may appear either violet or even red because of the less dense pigmentation in the eyes. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, could that be a reason why my eyes sometimes look burgundy-ish? Well, in the case of your eyes, it's likely a result of the lighting conditions. When the pupils either contract or expand, this can cause the eye color to appear to change. So, uh -huh. this is due to certain conditions, as I mentioned earlier, like lighting. That's probably the most common reason why, you know, some people may experience changes in eye color. And melanin production can also be a cue as well. The more that these pigments change, your eye color can actually change throughout your life as well and in certain moments and in certain conditions. Uh-huh. Well, that's very interesting stuff. I always wondered about the violet eyes. I was like, that's just too good to be true. I know. I always envied Miss Taylor. Well... Now you can just go to Africa and get your eyes sliced open and get whatever color eyeball you want. To, you uh, can. You know, thanks to technology, I don't recommend doing it, but there are people who have. and They say it's safe. They say it's safe. They always say something's safe until <laughs> they tell us it's not anymore. Yeah. But anyway, I just say stick to good old contacts until, you know, something else changes. Yeah. Whatever. Mm -hmm. We're going to move along with this Weirdo Wednesday into the next segment, which is called the joke of the day. He jazz creates them, we laugh at them, with her or at her, as long as we are laughing. Alright, so, what's today's joke? I am ready. Alright, well let's see if it makes you laugh. <laughs> what did the person say to their eyes when they couldn't find their glasses? Uh, guess we're going to be blind today? <laughs> no. What? I'll contact you later. Oh, like eye contact and then later. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Good. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this Weirdo Wednesday segment. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, we do this to get you over the hump of the week. And um, we'll see you next week for more Weirdo Wednesday. Keep it weird.